welcome to McCray Point Provincial Park. It's official, we've kicked off camping for 2023. Our very first trip of the season is to McCray Point Provincial Park. In this video, I'm gonna share what it's like and some of our experience here while we camp for our shakedown trip and hopefully, fingers crossed, everything goes well. When you arrive to McRae Point Provincial Park, you'll notice that the dumping and water filling station are actually on your way in, so you don't even have to go to the camp office and you can dump your trailer or fill up with water. We are filling up with water now. How's the flow? Good. Just have to run some water through the filter for the first time. Never used it yet this year. It's a nice fresh filter. I'm pretty impressed with this water station. This is a brand new tube. It is threaded, which means I can hook everything up to it. Uh, the only downside is that there's not a lot of pressure, which, I mean, it happens from time to time. If you've got a big tank, you're gonna be here for a while. And taking a look at the dump station over there, the hose is not threaded. So if you're looking at doing a rinse out for your black tank, you probably shouldn't be doing it over there. A good thing to know about the dumping station here is that it is actually a one-way loop. So if somebody is here dumping, you are gonna have to wait to get water because you can't go around, but I'll show you something that's really good. So this is the continuation of the loop, or if you're dumping and you just wanna leave, you can go out this way so you don't get stuck waiting to leave. We are in the North Campground and our site is site number 113. It is a pull through spot. It does not look like it's going to be very private at all, but also basically this whole campground is empty right now. So we'll see if it gets busier later today or maybe tomorrow. It is a beautiful day. So we're looking forward to getting set up and enjoying our waterfront site. We are all set up and I'm not gonna lie, it took us a lot longer than it normally does because we're not used to doing this and this site is completely uneven and sloped and it's very open. So let's go have a quick tour. So as you can see, this site is pretty open to the one next to it. Our neighbors are just setting up right now and our sites actually face each other because our fire pit is there, yet our power cord is all the way over here and you can see Alan's adding a bit of an extension because it was kind of too short or too tight so he's updating that now but this is what it looks like we have our campfire here and it faces the other direction so we've put our chairs so that they face the campsite but it is completely open and then you have amazing water views and that's actually the parking lot over there, so for extra parking. And they have some picnic tables and a bench by the water. So you may have noticed that our table and barbecue are right in the middle of the campsite. Why, may you ask? So a wee bit unlevel, just a, just a wee bit. We've got rolling hills here. There are rolling <laughs> hills on site 113. And now we are off to explore some of the park and see what it has to offer. It is still quite empty in the North Campground and I just checked back on the Ontario Parks website and most of these spots are reserved. So I'm wondering when those folks are gonna actually get here, if they're even going to come. The spot beside us is still open though. It hasn't been reserved, so we have privacy at least on one side. The North Campground has a comfort station with showers and flush toilets.
I would say that these washrooms are actually not too bad. They seem to be pretty clean. They're just quite dated. So for the North Campground, if you don't like privacy, this is the campground for you. If you like slope sites and a lot of bumps and frustration trying to find out where you can put your trailer, this is the campsite for you. And on the entrance and exit to the North Campground, you can actually find the Garbage and Recycling Disposal Center, so it's very conveniently located. And just a short walk away from the North Campground, you can access the day use area and you can find the boat launch. Down at the day use beach area, there are also flush toilets for men and women. Down at the beachfront area, it seems like there are lots of picnic tables that you could use and it's a big grassy area, but I'm not sure if the water is just high right now or there really isn't much of a beach here. So if you are coming here for like a sandy beach experience, I'm not sure that's what you're going to get here, but the water levels may just be high on our visit. We are having bacon and eggs this morning. What's more camping than having bacon and eggs? And I brought our toaster and we're also going to have toast. And to make it healthy, I brought some strawberries and bananas. I'm just waiting for Alan to finish up because he's actually posting a YouTube video live from our campsite. So our internet is actually really good here on site 113. The boat launch area is located near the main beach and if you are walking, there is a path between the boat launch and the beach area. However, if you are driving, there is a nice paved road and plenty of parking. And by the water's edge, there is a boat dock tie-up area, so if you have a small water vessel that you are bringing with you and need to leave it there while you go repark your vehicle, you can do that. It looks like a nice spot to launch a boat. Down by the boat launch is one of the areas that you can access the Water's Edge Trail. This is the one trail that runs through the entire park around the perimeter and it does have some great water views. As you can see, there is no shortage of picnic tables down here at the main beach day use area. If you're looking at the water from the parking lot area of the day use section, dogs are permitted on the far right hand side of that area or down at the boat launch area as well. So if you have dogs on leash, those are the two areas they can go. I gotta say, it is not really an enjoyable walk down by the beach area right now because it is quite muddy, but the mud's not even that bad. It's that there's so much goose poo everywhere. It's literally like, you're just gonna probably step in it. So I think you just need to get over that. That's what I keep saying to myself. However, I'm still trying to avoid it and the big mud puddles. So note, if you're coming in early spring, maybe even the summer too, the geese love it here and there's tons of poop. The South Campground has sites 126 to 203. There are 41 electric and the rest are non-electric sites. We are just driving through the non-electric sites here in the South Campground. And man, there are some big hills here and a lot of uneven sites, but we did see some sites that look like they might have a waterfront access trail so that they can just go right down to the water, but it did look like it was down a big hill. And then over here, some of them seem like they're pretty level and sunny. There is a comfort station in the middle of the non-electric site section in the South Campground. They do have flush toilets for men and women. Driving through the electric side of the South Campground, it seems like a lot of the sites are much more level. It does look like a more popular area because it seems pretty full actually. And some of the sites have water access as well, so pass down to the water. 
and there's a lot of big rigs in this section so if you are looking for a little bit more privacy a little bit more level sites bigger sites too then i would suggest coming to this side however there are no showers at the comfort stations here so you do have to go to the north campground if you are looking for showers in the center of the south campground there are also some vault toilets right behind me and if i turn around the other way right across there is some parking and also the main comfort station the North Campground has sites 1 to 125 and the majority of them are pull through. All of the sites are electric as well and from our experience they look like they're quite uneven so if you are bringing a bigger trailer to this area make sure you check out the description of the site. A good tip to know if you're coming to McRae Point is that there are water filling stations in the South Campground and North Campground so if you see that it's too backed up at the trailer dumping station and the water filling station there you can come into the campground directly but you do need to have your own hose. We are on the Water's Edge Trail now and it is a 4.7 kilometer loop. It's rated at moderate. It's supposed to take about an hour and 20 minutes. So we're gonna see how long it takes us and so far it has amazing water views. We're not quite sure if we took a wrong turn somewhere on the trail because we ended up walking down a residential street just behind the park and now we're back onto the McRae Point Park Road. And right at the entrance of the park, there's a pathway that goes to the right and to the left, which looks like it should be part of the Water's Edge Trail. We're going to take this route and see where it takes us, but we're not sure if we just got lost or if you really are supposed to go outside of the park. So if somebody knows, let me know in the comments below. Well, we are back on the trail and we've confirmed it is the correct trail because we have seen a whole bunch of trailers up here to our right up the hill. There are some paths too leading to some of the sites, so the paths come down to this trail and then there's access to the water in some of the areas as well. Morning. It is our last day here at McRae Point Provincial Park for our shakedown trip and you know what that means. It's time for me to tell you what I liked and what I didn't like about our park experience. I'm going to start with what I didn't like about this park. The North Campground is quite open and it's mostly pull through spots. A lot of them are uneven and there's quite a bit of sloping making it a little bit difficult to position your trailer. Might even make it difficult if you have a tent. So just know that about the North Campground. There's not a lot of privacy and the sites are a little bit uneven. The second thing I didn't really like about this park was the beach area. I like a big sandy beach and this beach seemed a little bit small to me, just the sandy part. The grassy area behind was quite large. There was lots of picnic tables, lots of parking and a comfort station. So all of those amenities were pretty great, but I just thought the actual sandy beach was kind of small. So if you are looking for a big sprawling sandy beach, maybe check out one of the other parks in this area like Mara or Sibold. Now let's talk about what I liked about this park. And the first thing is the park staff were quite visible. They were often driving around and they were doing a lot of work down by the water area, installing docks, and they were often seen cleaning the comfort stations on a fairly regular basis which I thought was great. Next, I liked the Water's Edge Trail. It was a pretty easy trail, nice scenery, and being by the water is always great. So I really enjoyed that they had a nice walking trail. The next thing I liked were the sites in the South Campground. The majority of them were quite big, quite private, and much more level than the one we have here. And some of them even had paths down to the water. And despite not liking the openness of our site, I really liked the water view and the proximity to the water. And while we were here, they started putting docks in. You can probably see them behind me. And that means if you had this site or one of the ones next to it, you could easily get your kayak or canoe if you bring it into the water without having to take it down to a boat launch area or find another spot. It's literally just across the street, which makes it super convenient if you want to do water sports. We've been to most of the parks in this area now, so if you're looking for other reviews on Bass Lake, Sibold, or Mara, I've linked them in the description below, and they're all great parks that you may wanna check out. 
Overall, this was a great kickoff to our camping season and this was a very successful shakedown trip in my opinion. We can't wait to get out camping at all of the other Ontario parks I have booked for this summer and I will be sharing all of those reviews and experiences on this channel. So if you're interested, make sure you hit the subscribe and notification bell so that you don't miss any of our upcoming camping adventures. I hope you enjoyed this video seeing around McRae Point Provincial Park and what it has to offer. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more camping and travel videos coming soon.